afternoon. What you're looking at is three unmarked white Border Patrol buses. They pull up and they start releasing several hundred illegal immigrants to city streets and sidewalks in San Diego across from a transit terminal. Uh, people were on this bus from as far away as China and Pakistan. And keep in mind, these buses are not from Texas. They're not Greg Abbott's buses. These are the Biden administration's buses. This is Border Patrol mass releasing people. You can see handfuls of them are standing around not knowing where they are, what to do, where to go next. And there was a remarkable exchange between one migrant and a Border Patrol agent as he asked the agent, hey, am I okay to travel to Chicago? And the agent says, yep, you're good to go. Take a listen. You're free to go all you're free to. Okay, uh, it's no problem uh, if I go to Chicago. You're free. Uh, it's no problem uh, if I go to Chicago. You're free. The Chicago experiment is simply this Chicago is the blackest U.S. congressional district in the United States. Chicago is the blackest U.S. congressional district in the United States. Chicago is the blackest U.S. congressional district in the United States. If you want to destroy black political power, if you want to destroy concentrated black political power, Chicago is at the top of your list. There's more Africans in New York City, but they are not as concentrated as they are in Chicago. There's more Africans in New York City, but they are not as concentrated as they are in Chicago. Chicago is the only predominantly black, it is the largest black congressional district in the country. The reason they bus in migrants to Chicago the reason they bus in migrants to Chicago, the reason they are busing anti-African immigrants to the second blackest city in America, the second largest black metropolis, second only to New York, the reason they bus in migrants. The reason DeSantis sent a bus of immigrants from Florida to Chicago. Why did he send a bus from Florida to Chicago? Why did the governor of Texas send a bus from Texas to Chicago filled with migrants? I'm going to tell you why. They want to bust up the black power and replace it with the Latino immigrants. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. They want to bust up and break down Chicago and replace the black power with Latino power. Joe Biden and is co-signing this. Joe Biden is co-signing this. Joe Biden is co-signing this. And guess what? All those schools that they said they couldn't afford to keep open for black children in Chicago. Talk black to me, Chicago. All them Chicago public schools that they shut down and wouldn't sell Dr. Umar a single one of them. All them Chicago public schools that they shut down and wouldn't sell Dr. Umar a single one of them. All those Chicago public schools that they couldn't afford to keep open for black children. They have not only reopened the public schools in Chicago, they have renovated those public schools in Chicago. I don't think you heard what I just said. I don't think you heard what I just said. I don't think none of you American Africans just heard what I just said. All the schools they shut down in Chicago that they claim they couldn't afford to keep open to teach black children. All them schools have been reopened, renovated, turned into shelters for the illegal immigrants and they will be opening them for school. 
So they will have live in school. They will have their own custom. Live. The house is upstairs and the school is downstairs. I said the house is upstairs and the school is downstairs. They got their own state of the art apartments inside of abandoned Chicago public schools. Oh, yes. If you don't believe me, go take a look. If you don't believe me, go take a look. How in the hell you couldn't keep the schools open for black children, but you reopened them, renovated them, turned them into apartments for illegal immigrants who ain't paid a tax a day in their life, and you're going to open the schools back up so they can go to school in the comfort of their apartment building. I said they can go to school in the comfort of their apartment building. They can go to school in the comfort of their apartment building. And on top of that, see, they waited till the election was over. They waited until the Chicago mayor's race was over. They waited until the Chicago mayor's race was over. Let me say this about the new mayor of Chicago. No disrespect to my brother. Let me say this about the mayor of Chicago. No disrespect. He's a melanated brother. He got a beautiful black sister, beautiful black children. But there's a couple issues I'm smelling with this African. There's a couple issues I'm smelling with the new Democratic mayor of Chicago. Issue number one. Why isn't he taking a stand against the migrant crisis? Why isn't the new black mayor of Chicago taking a stand against the migrant crisis? Talk black to me, Chicago. We're my north side Chicago Africans. We're my south side Chicago Africans. We're my west side Chicago Africans. We're my east side Chicago Africans. Why is he not taking a stand against the migrant crisis? He just gave $51 million to these illegal immigrants who got bust into Chicago. Since when can you get $51 million for showing up in a city you don't belong. I said, since when can you get $51 million for showing up in a city where you do not belong? And check this out. The $51 million is not one and done. Oh, check this out. The $51 million of black Chicago tax dollars the $51 million of black Chicago tax dollars, the $51 million of black Chicago tax dollars is only to take care of the migrants until the end of July. So at the end of July, they're going to get some more black Chicago tax dollars. Oh, yes. This is a takeover, brothers and sisters. This is ethnic cleansing. Remember, I told y'all. I told y'all when Joe Biden first got elected, what did Joe Biden say? This is why you got to follow me because I've been taking you on a journey. I don't miss, brothers and sisters. I'm political scientist number one. I don't miss. I told you. Joe Biden said he wanted to fast track Four million illegal immigrants to full citizenship by the end of his first term. Joe Biden said he wanted to fast track four million illegal immigrants to full citizenship by the end of his first term. Did he not say that? Did he not say that? The Chicago experiment is part of Joe Biden's agenda to give all of these anti-African illegal immigrants full citizenship in America. Stay with me, Chicago. 
Stay with me, Chicago. These are not just migrants. These are future citizens and future voters. I hope Chicago was paying attention. I hope Chicago was paying attention. They're going to turn these migrants into American citizens with voters, with voting privilege. They're going to use them to change the color and culture of Chicago. They're going to use the migrants to move black people out of Chicago. Let me ask you a question. Why didn't they drop the migrants off in the Latino communities? They are Latinos. They may not be of the same nationality, but they are Latinos. Why didn't they drop the migrants in the Latino neighborhoods in Chicago where they can get the most help, the most support, they speak the same language. Why did you put Latinos in black neighborhoods instead of Latino neighborhoods? Why did you put the migrants in black neighborhoods instead of Latino neighborhoods? The reason they put the migrants in black neighborhoods instead of Latino neighborhoods is they need to push the blacks out. So now the migrants are going to get priority over all black people in Chicago. They're going to get housing priority, job priority, safety priority, education priority, medical priority. They're not citizens, never worked, never paid taxes, and they already got renovated living spaces in the public schools they said they couldn't afford to pay to keep open to educate black children. Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. The Chicago experiment is real. And they waited until he got elected. No disrespect to my brother. I'm not going to throw him under the bus. He just got elected. But if he don't take a stand against this, if he keeps on taking money from my black Chicago family, if he keeps on taking money from black Chicago and giving it to these anti-African illegal immigrant migrants, then he's a part of the problem. I'm going to call it what it is. Then he is a part of the problem. We ain't got jobs for black youth in Chicago. Black youth in Chicago are one of the most underemployed groups in America. We ain't got jobs for black youth in Chicago, but you got $51 million for the migrants? You got renovated schools for the migrants? They're going to get their citizenship and they're going to become voters. And Joe Biden and the Democrats are going to use these migrants to destroy black power and black culture in Chicago. They're going to use these migrants to destroy black power and black culture in Chicago. They're going to use these migrants to destroy black power and black culture in Chicago.